What you're looking at there is continuum over mirror casts on a big projector, three meters wide, full HD, and it's running off this phone. Um, I've actually got mouse and keyboard attached to this, but I'm gonna just pull that out now. And hopefully behind me, you can see that I'm gonna control this. Now there's the um, Tweetium application. Just gonna use two fingers to, to scroll through that now. Oh, thank you for your re retweets, by the way. But what's happening here is we've got the Lumia 950 XL, also possible with the 950 as well. And uh, what we've done is we've connected Miracast over Miracast, and that's enabled the continuum feature on some apps. It, it doesn't work on all apps. For example, I can't start Shazam or WhatsApp on this screen, although I can run it concurrently on the main screen here. So, so let me just take you back a step and show you exactly what's happening. Um, Lumia 950 XL. And let me disconnect from the, the screen here and you'll see what's going on in the background. So we've got a Screen Beam Pro connected to a projector which is above me here. That's connected via standard HDMI cable, HDMI cable 10 meters long. Now that's sitting on um, listening using Wi-Fi Direct to, to possible connectivity uh, devices. So what I'm going to do on the 950XL, and uh, unfortunately I won't be able to zoom right in on this, I'm just going to go to the connect setting. Any of you that are interested in Continua will have probably seen this before, but I'm just going to select the screen beam here. That'll go away, do its magic, and then you'll see uh, full HD, um, full HD Windows Phone, Windows 10 Phone, with Continuum running on the screen in the background here. So what you also get is you also get a controller. Um, I don't know if you can actually see that. Maybe I'll just do a cutaway shot of that later. And you get a touchpad, which is a multi-touch touchpad and a keyboard. So for example, let's start up Edge and we'll go to double click to select all, of course, umpcportal.com. No, actually, as I'm doing this for notebook check, I should go to notebookcheck.net, shouldn't I? Notebookcheck.net is the English version of their German website. And uh, that should come up. We're connected over, I think we're connected over AC Wi-Fi here. And there is notebook check. So that's running Edge. That's the Edge you get on Windows 10. Obviously that rescales for the continue. We've got full HD experience. It looks exactly as it does on the desktop. And it's actually really confusing because, because it's not exactly the desktop, you, do, you find yourself looking for different things. But anyway, if we go uh, double, t double tap to scroll here, and uh, I'll show you maybe one of the videos I've done recently, the uh, Dell XPS 15 QHD. And, um, Let's just, uh, can we bring that up? That's gonna go straight to YouTube, to the video, and you'll be able to watch that. Now I've got the audio hooked up to uh, Hi-Fi here as well, so you might even hear that in the background when it starts up. So remember you've not got like laptop performance here, you've got entry level performance here, similar to something like an eight inch Windows tablet. And uh, someone getting a free advert Let's skip the ad and we'll scroll straight to full screen. And there's, that's running I think in probably in 720p. Let's put it into 1080p so it's native. And that is running all from this. So we've got, <laughs> it's kind of hard to believe and it's, it's kind of, sent, it gives me a few goosebumps to be honest because this is the sort of thing that in 2006 I could only imagine when I was talking about the ultra mobile PC, I won't talk too much about that, but this ability to have a mobile processor and an operating screen, which spans multiple device sizes. Now there was uh, interesting news today that uh, there was growth in the tablet market in the Windows 10 segment and that the other segments started to, have started to decay slightly, although fair enough, Windows 10 started from a base of a very small base. But uh, it's an interesting one for developers to think about now because not only have you got um, 200 million 
Windows 10 devices out there which are mostly laptops and desktops, you're all start, so starting to get devices like this into the market now. Now where they're Continuum connect, uh, enabled, you really literally just need to plug in your um, USB-C cable and mine's connected to the, uh, oops, I just unlocked it. I'm just going to use um, Iris Scan to log in again. And let's just do something here. I'm going to try, I'm using the keyboard and mouse now. I'm going to go to, let's go to, let's go to, let's go to Word. How about going to Word? So we'll go to all apps and uh, let's just uh, get Word up for you. Now this is Word Mobile. This isn't uh, the full desktop edition of Word, but it is pretty good. So let's see if I can uh, like insert a picture into this. Picture's gonna go to my picture library. Let's take a picture I took earlier on the Lumia. In fact, this is a really weird thing, watch this. So I'm now gonna enable the camera on the Lumia. That's starting up on this screen. Now I'm gonna take a picture of what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna put the phone down. And then I'm gonna go to Word again and I'm going to insert that picture that I've just taken because it will be in the library already. There it is, preview's not built, but you should see there. There's the picture I just took from the Lumia. It's bizarre, isn't it? So what you can also connect over USB-C is uh, storage um, via the USB dock, the Continuum dock that you can buy. You can connect display port screens. You can also connect um, HDMI screens other USB 3 devices. I've connected this into one of my USB 3 docking stations. Unfortunately, the display link part of that didn't work, um, but it saw the storage and it saw the mouse and keyboard connected over USB as well. So again, double tap to, sorry, tap to control that app and I can go, well, let's just scroll down, two fingers to scroll. And um, let us, can we get the keyboard up? Can I force the keyboard? Um, keyboard doesn't seem to be showing. Maybe because I'm in. Let me just see if I can get the keyboard up. Sorry, display setting, personal lines, display, high continuum, better set up keyboard and mouse. Maybe because I've got this other keyboard connected. Just pull this out. Then maybe we'll get back to the getting the keyboard. No, I can't get the keyboard up on the um, on the app at the moment, but that, uh, if I was to go down here and enter a different input, oh, Cortana, I can now, I got the keyboard now on here, I can, I can search for notebook check. Okay, so it gives you Right, so that's just a demo of Continuum. I had to do it on this uh, Miracast setup because I don't actually have the Continuum dock here. So, um, but I think it's quite interesting because you can actually see live what's happening. It's only Miracast going over Wi-Fi Direct. That's uh, wireless display technology uh, to the wireless uh, display receiver connected to the projector and then coming up behind me showing you the touchpad as well. I've got lots more to test with this. I find it really interesting and I think I'll probably try and spend a day tomorrow actually working on Windows 10 Mobile just to see where, which uh, limits I hit. One of the first things I tried to do was download Chrome. It looks so much like a desktop. You have that uh, desktop mentality. So I tried to go and download Chrome. Obviously, x86 apps, uh, sorry, Win32 apps do not work. This is something for universal Windows apps uh, and preferably ones that have uh, continuum features within them to expand the screen and change the layout of the screen. Right, for notebook check, my name's Chippy. This is the Lumia 950 XL and a demo of Continuum over Miracast. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the video, cha video channel. You'll get notifications of more videos, including our overview review of the 950 XL, which will be coming up in a few days in your email box. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.